story time this is my everyday starbucks drink ain't nothing too fancy i'm a regular girl okay we're gonna head into target right now you enjoy it but i'm for you all i could want all i Hey girls, so here we're going to be talking about exfoliating. You do have two ways of exfoliating. You can exfoliate chemically or physically. Physically would be the loofah, body sponges, exfoliator gloves, body scrubs, stuff like that. Chemically, we're going to talk about it a little bit later in the video, but right now I'm going to grab a couple loofahs, one for me and one for my baby girl. Go ahead and grab the gloves, and those are $4.99 as well. I just kind of want to give her a feel of what it is like to use other exfoliating items. Just trying to give her a feel of what she actually likes because what works for me might not work for her so girl actually did graduate to these brushes I'm actually gonna buy it this time instead of talking about it so this is $5.99 and this is a little bit um, stronger than the regular brush that I always get so, okay girl so I don't know if tree her heard me talking about the eight dollars but yeah <laughs> they changed it back to seven ninety nine. dollars I'm really not sure what happened maybe they did a test run on eight dollars and seeing that the sales went down people is crazy about a penny but you know what it is what it is so i actually smell stuff i'm like one of them girls that's gonna open it and smell it because why would i buy something that stink i don't first of all i hate coming back to the stores to return stuff like that's the most tedious thing however i'm about to smell this papaya it's called papaya um paradise and this smells so freaking good i think this is like their summer collection or whatnot but this is the only thing that i really really liked i'm not gonna lie so when i did smell the peach sherbet it kind of smelled like papaya and i'm like why would i buy this when i just i'm about to buy the papaya one they smell similar they're not the exact same but they do smell similar but i could tell that this gotta be like the summer collection they smell amazing them too now the blue one that i ended up smelling i really really didn't like that one like that one gave me y'all know how the barbie dolls used to smell like back in the day and they like i don't know like it smelled like baby powder and i don't know like i just don't like it i didn't like that smell for me um but yeah um p passion what is it called? <laughs> Papaya Paradise and Peach Sherbet. Out of the three that I smell, those two smell great. But I'm going to go ahead and only get the passion. Oh my God, Papaya Paradise. She has been expanding their horizons and I'm here for it. So I really, really love the Coco Lada scent with the body scrub. I'm so glad that they didn't discontinue that scent because that's really my favorite. I'm going to go ahead and try out the body wash, the foaming gel wash. I don't know if y'all have used this. What are your takes on this if you did use this? Comment down below and tell me how you like this. I'm actually going to try it and I'll let y'all know as well. They always make their stuff affordable, girl. So this is $7.99. Before we go on to the next thing, I do want to talk about this bath situation. Like, I feel like I don't talk about baths enough. I talk about showers all the time, but I don't talk about baths enough. I want to go ahead and try this. I haven't tried this. Please comment down below if you have tried this. Like, I want to know your takes on this. However, when I did smell the the pomegranate type it smells so good i've never used a milk bath before i've always just taken like bubble baths and stuff girl but this is supposed to hydrate and put protein into your skin because of the almond milk and the coconut milk and yeah so i'm really looking forward to this it's 10.99 and who wouldn't want to soak in collagen like collagen is helping your skin look very youthful like who don't want to soak in that baby i'm going we're gonna be on to soap and body wash. It's funny because when I mentioned Dr. Bronner's one time, what instantly come to other people's minds is Arctic Blast. Like, can't believe that I actually use this on a regular basis. And I really, really do because I love feeling clean. Love has been coming out with some new, new, okay, baby. I really like this um, eucalyptus and aloe. It smells so freaking good. Like, you wouldn't even believe that it smells like this. Don't let the name fool you. 
this smells amazing and it's coming in at affordable not too much $6.99 this is definitely one of my go-to dove body washes the shea and vanilla body wash it smells absolutely amazing the quality is chef kiss it feels so good when it goes on your skin and leave your skin very very moisturized all 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 recommend even though this is $9.99 it does last for a long time I say Dove is coming out with some new new that's what I mean they have a new line called body love and this is all things natural okay it's actually addressing a few issues when it comes to body acne I really really love that they do have that um remember when I was telling you guys in the beginning about a chemical exfoliator hyaluronic acid or hyaluronic serum what it says here it actually is a chemical exfoliant and then uh, salicylic acid actually helps with acne so I really love that they're incorporating these type of things in their body wash it means that they're actually listening and paying attention to the consumer instead of looking for how to save a dollar for them you know and it says affordable all of these are coming out at $8.39 the only one that is a little bit more expensive is the dry skin one and that one was, is particularly for people with eczema that one is coming in at ten dollars and 49 cents you really k gang and you are og then you know that i love zero percent aluminum dove jasmine coconut that is really my fave right now and i don't know if i'll ever switch to another one because like i tried the native deodorant and that shit burnt me and i will never ever ever in my life i have sensitive skin so what works for somebody else might not work for me and that's exactly what occurred so that's why you got to try stuff and just do 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 little tests but anyways um i did want to go in because i haven't really seen this this is for teens they have a dove zero percent aluminum with these fruity type of smells and so i grabbed one for my daughter the strawberry one i really feel like she would enjoy that and i'm really trying to wean her off the other stuff and now that i feel more confident about dove zero percent aluminum then i'm really gonna get that for her so the dove zero percent aluminum is 6.99 um, I am looking at Lumi. I did hear a lot about Lumi and I really want to try it. I haven't tried it myself. Lumi is coming in a little bit expensive for some deodorant at $14.99 and I really, really hope that it serves its purpose, baby. Okay, girl. So next we're going to look at oral care, oral hygiene. I really love the Glurin Floss. But I always get the double, so that's the one that I'm going to get right now. They are $2.99 and they are recyclable. So I'm gonna look at the mouthwash for my son. I really, it really caught my eye for their breath because I never knew that they had this. It's $5.29 for the watermelon um, taste or scent or whatever. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Lord have mercy with the flavor. And um, this is anti-cavity. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this for him. I might change everything else up, baby, but I'm not changing up this Crest Scope with whitening, okay? I really, really love this. It leaves my breath smelling and feeling super super clean and my teeth looking real real good why not that right there is going to be $6.99 and the TheraBreath mouthwash for adults is at $9.29 so I'm just going to go ahead and get that it is for healthy gums and I really really have been liking it ever since I bought the first one so yeah it took me all day y'all to get done with hygiene shopping and then I went to Walmart and I was going to get my baby some stuff but any who's we're back at it again so this is the tree hut coco lada i got the body wash because if you know you know like i love the coco lada body scrub that they do have and this smells amazing i haven't used it yet but i will let y'all know how i feel about this y'all know i had to go and get my um dr bronner's peppermint soap y'all know i had to get that um, I really really love this I use this for a base wash before I wash with the body wash because a lot of people don't notice but I really want to try to take heat that body wash is just like a moisturizing um, it's just like a moisturizing wash like it's if you think of conditioner for your hair that's how body wash is for your body um, this is actual soap so you want to make sure that you're using soap and moisturizing your skin because if you don't moisturize your skin after this girl your skin is naked like it really strips you of like all dirt and oils and all that stuff and you want to replenish your body with body wash 
speaking of body wash, this right here smells so good. The Dove is called something invigorating <laughs> body wash. And this has um, aloe and eucalyptus oil. When I say this smells so good, it smells so refreshing. It smells so refreshing. Like a lot of people might not think eucalyptus oil and aloe smell good together, but it really, really does. It smells very refreshing, giving clean, baby. Giving clean, okay? I don't know why I just had that jacket zipped up to my neck like that. Like, why you ain't telling me? All right. So, I had got this. I seen that they have, like, new summertime scents for the body scrubs, baby. And I'm going to be honest. The other ones that I smelled that you seen that I was smelling, I really didn't like that smell. But I really do like this because it has shea butter, papaya extract, and pineapple enzymes in there. And papaya, papaya tastes good, okay? Now, this reminds me of like some type of candy. Like it smells, it smells so good. And it, ooh, I can't wait to use this. Like this is this is a summertime scent for sure. This is probably gonna be a summertime staple for me. So after I just showed you the scrub, I have some other things that I exfoliate my body with. Like this loofah that I got. This is a really cute color. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to give my daughter. So but I think I'm gonna go with the blue one and she likes purple too. Like that's not her favorite color, but she likes, she going, if purple was there, she gonna get purple. So she like purple. Okay, anyways, and then I got her this, which is a um, exfoliating glove. I kind of want to try and her to try out and see which one she really like because I buy her loofahs all the time and I'm like, let me see if she, how she feels with uh, exfoliating glove. But I done graduated, your girl done graduated to the graduation brush, exfoliator brush, okay? I'm used to dry brushing with the citrus brush now, and now your girl done graduated to the Eco Tools brush. Um, I can't wait to use this for dry brushing. Back to the body wash. So, right here, this is the holy grail for me. Like, this is really, like, basic. Like, if I want to smell good but not do too much... I'm going to do the Shea Butter and Vanilla. The Shea Butter and Vanilla smells so freaking amazing. Like, it's giving grown and sexy, baby. It's giving, I don't know. Like, this reminds me of, like, real, like, nighttime things. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but it smells so good. It smells so amazing. I highly, highly recommend. The quality is so good. Like, it feels so good on your skin, okay? I just, this is new. This is the Dove, um... This is the Dove line, and it is called Body Love. I really, really, really love that Dove is getting into it with this stuff. Like, they're getting they're getting now to the nitty-gritty because they're starting to see that people are caring about the stuff that they're putting on their skin now. So, this one is for dry and cracked skin. And this is hypoallergenic. This is a hypoallergenic fragrance that is in here. Now... A lot of times I'm real skeptical of anything that has fragrance in it, but it does say that the fragrance itself is hypoallergenic, so this shouldn't bother your skin at all. And I got sensitive skin, and depending on what's in here, I don't want to be itching, scratching all night, okay? But it says that it has 10 times moisture in here, it's dermatologist approved, and it's hypoallergenic it has a hypoallergenic fragrance but the thing that i i really love and i think that i showed you guys was the fact that it doesn't have any soul face parabens no soap nothing like this is really to like when i remember when i was telling y'all like the body washes to like condition your skin this right here is really this is what you use after you use your soap and this gives your skin back like life for real like i really really i can't wait to use this I cannot wait to use this. Like, this should have your skin feeling real, real good. I'm going to let you know, girl. So, then they have another one called um, Hyperactive Skin. And Hyperactive Skin is really just for people that just, like, you just, you, could, you just can't use nothing. You have really, really bad skin and you just can't use too much on your skin to the point where it's, 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 it's not going to react the right way. So, anyways, they put on here the ingredients. I really, really, Dove is picking up what Native is putting down. They're going and they're letting you guys know what's in here. So, I really, really do love that. 
I really love that it's only 12 ingredients. Um, and it's, they're telling you what these ingredients are for. They're not just putting it in there for fillers or preservatives or whatever they be putting that other stuff in there for. Or to be cheap. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is quality, baby. For I think it was $8.98. I don't know. You know. You've seen it. I can't remember right now. But um, the same thing. No sulfates, no parabens, no soap. This is really to condition your skin. Like... I can't wait to use that. I'm so excited. Oh, I did buy another one. Okay, so this other one, it has hyaluronic serum in it. And I, if if you are like really a, a beauty girl, you would know hyaluronic acid is like a chemical exfoliator. And yeah, yeah, I'm really excited to, to use this. Yeah, and I know y'all loving my hat too. Let's say Toxica. Okay, this is another thing that I have not tried yet. And comment down below if you guys have tried any of these things that I'm mentioning that I have not tried. But this is another thing that I haven't tried yet. It's called, it's by Dr. Teals. It's a milk bath. Now, I remember seeing this type of stuff on movies and stuff when they would be having like the white like water and stuff. But I never like, I never did it. Like I never knew what that was. But it's called, this is a milk bath for real. It has collagen in it. And it's uh, made with pomegranate oil. This was the last one left. And I know this smells so good. Like, really, go get this. I'm not playing. This is a conditioner as well. And you kind of soak your body inside of this type of conditioning um, product. And it smells so freaking good. I cannot wait to use it because I'm going to, y'all know I'm going to let y'all know. Um, what else has it in here? It has lime and orange essential oils, and it's supposed to help uplift your mood and provide relief from stress. And it's made out of coconut milk and almond milk. So you're putting that protein on your skin, right? I'm so excited. It smells so good. Look, y'all. Remember last time I did that and it got in my eye? I'm, I'm, the stuff that I'm buying is not just for myself, it's for my daughter too. Because she's a growing girl, okay, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep my baby up to speed, up to speed. Now you already know the grin is the thing. The grin is the thing. Like I really, really love these, so I did get these. Here is the honey pot sensitive. This is for the gross Dove Teen. I did not know that they had this. This Dove Teen 0% Aluminum Speed, like, you you know how, like, you know how, like, back in the day, like, they used to have, like, the lady speed stick and stuff for, like, the teenagers or, like, the preteens or whatever, like, the girls. And I hated getting that lady speed stick because it was really no coverage for real. But I'm really trying to transition my girl from using aluminum deodorant to aluminum free deodorant. I have been kind of skeptical because I'm, like, I'm really, she's... She real active, so I'm just like, what if it failed? But I've been using Dove 0% Aluminum for probably a year now, and I'm like, okay, well, I think it's time to transition her, and I there's not, there's not going to be a fail because it's quality on top of safe. Like, you're safe with using this product right here. Like, it's, um, and it says that you have a 48-hour hold and it's moisturizing. A lot of people don't understand. Like, your underarms are still a part of your skin as well. You need to moisturize that part of your skin. Stop abandoning your underarms. Okay, baby? This is for my big boob girls. Let's, a uh, moment of silence for, for the double D community. And up. Because summertime we be going through it, and I just, I just, I'm tired of it. I'm tired. So I'm taking a chance, and I'm gonna let you know how this goes. But I heard from a friend, from a friend, from a friend that Lumi, this, this, this right here, that this works for us. Because as you can see, with Baby Potter Johnson and Johnson. They they didn't cause cancer. I'm not even I'm not messing with nothing that got aluminum, nothing in it to put it anywhere on anything like that. My nana passed away from ovarian cancer and she was using that baby powder like crazy everywhere. So no. No, no way. I refuse. I, I would rather be more conscious about what it is that I'm putting on my body 
and I'm starting to be more conscious about what I'm putting in my body, okay? But this right here is a whole body deodorant. This right here is unscented. So a lot of times, like, they have things that are scented. I did get something that's scented because I really like how it smells, but I'm not going to want to use that all the time. Like, I'm really one of the girls that just, like, match up my scents with the same scents that I got on so I don't smell, like, 15 different things at one time. So, but I did like the fact that this salted caramel smells so good. So this is the kind here. And so what you would do is you just put it in the areas that you normally sweat and where it's hot at. And, you know, for the big boob girls, we like under our boobs and then like in the middle. So, yeah, this right here, you can put this anywhere. Like you've seen it said for pits, privates, and beyond, okay? The big booty girls got to deal with that part. I don't gotta deal with that right now because it ain't it ain't there all the way yet. But <laughs> that's what a big booty girls. And I really, really like that they have like the cream instead of just the stick itself. Because how awkward can it be when you like you know I'll tell you how this goes because I hate sweating and I don't like this you know the scent that comes from sweating. So yeah. When I tell y'all, I'm so proud of me because I feel like, you know what? It's been a lot going on. I'm just, I'm just stay where I'm at. It's been a lot going on and I'm just really proud that I, I'm trying to move forward. I'm not letting nothing stop me no more because I usually would do stuff like that. Like I would just block everything out and just be in my own autopilot, y'all. But I'm not doing that anymore. Nothing, nothing is going to bother me and stop me from being on my grind and on my things so with that being said um this is the amazing grass if you guys haven't heard about this this is the greens blend superfood you can actually put this in eight ounces of water or you can put it in your smoothie this right here i thought that it would taste disgusting like i'm not lying like i thought this would be so nasty but it's not like it is not it does not have a terrible taste if you're one of the people that's like big on texture this will probably bother you if you just drink it in the water but you can definitely add it to your smoothie now i'm gonna give you a quick review because i drunk this this morning usually when i get up in the morning and at the end i was sleepy like real tired at night usually when i get up in the morning i don't be like i don't have energy whatsoever like i be so tired I fixed me and bay a glass of this right here, eight ounces, and I drank the whole thing. Do you know I had a boost of energy that I never like? I'm not. I'm normally not a person that just get up like that. Like I be so tired in the morning, but baby, when I say when I drank this this morning, I had so much freaking energy. Like even throughout the day, I did not get tired. Usually around two o'clock, I be like, oh my goodness, I need to take a nap. No, baby, I was up like this right here gives you energy it boosts you up like it really boosts you up i highly recommend this highly recommend this is my that's my everyday thing now like girl you know how we be starting stuff on monday but i'm for real this time i'm for real okay anyways this right here is from ollie it's called beat the bloat um it's not a lot in here and that's what i really hate about buying stuff like this like it's 25 what is this it's 25 capsules in here, but the bottle is like super stupid big for no reason. However, I have issues with bloating. Like, I my, I be bloating for, like, it's just, it's ridiculous. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy. But this right here has um, enzymes in it, digestive enzymes, dandelion, ginger, and fennel. And ginger is supposed to help you to stop bloating, so... Yep, that's one of the supplements that I'm going to add in. This right here is the greens supplements. So, these are little capsules. This right here has spinach, aloe vera, wheatgrass, kale, blue-green algae, um, spur, 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 I don't know what it's called. <laughs> um, chlorella and barley glass. So, it's really six, like every one every one vitamin contains this right here like who about to eat six cups of spinach baby like you can't get this you can't get this you can't get this by eating don't lie you can't get this by eating i'm not six cups of spinach six oranges 15 cups of broccoli 
seven cups of milk and three cups of peas. This is how much one of these supplements contain. And it's vitamin B6, vitamin C, vitamin B5, vitamin B12, and zinc. It's no sugar added, it's 15 calories, and it's gluten-free, and it's non-GMO. Don't tell me, baby. We're on it. Like, we're. I'm not playing. Like, I need my energy. And, like, I used to, like, when I was working out, I'd be like, bro, why am I so tired? Like, even... Even drinking the energy drinks, like the energy drinks, like give me the boost, like right then and there, boom, let's go ahead and get this workout gone. But after the workout, I'm super like tired, like I want to pass out tired, like it's really ridiculous. But that right there is going to keep me in a, with my activity, with my activity level, it's going to keep me where I need to be at with the activity level. You know what I'm trying to say, girl. But anyways. I bought collagen because I'm over 25 and after 25 your collagen starts to drop and I don't got time for that. See, they said black don't crack, but baby, if you don't if you don't do right, you're gonna start looking like it. You're gonna start looking like you on that. Um, this is 200 milligrams in one, and I really, really love that it has vitamin C and vitamin E in there. So, it contains one in three collagen peptides, and yeah, I'm going to start taking this. I really wanted to get the collagen um, the collagen powder, like, like you know how I have the green powder, but I felt like that was going to be too much powder stuff, and I'm just like, I'm not, I'm really not, I'm really not a girl that's going to like drink a smoothie every, every day, because I'm just not about to make no smoothie every day. I'm sorry. Like, it's, it's an everyday, every other day thing for me. Like, for me, I would rather eat the fruit. I'm not about to make a smoothie every day. I just don't. And I'm not, I don't lie to myself. This is something that I, I don't do. When I notice that it's something that I just can't get jiggy with, I'm like, okay, well, let me just adjust to what I actually like. Let me adjust to what I actually feel. And that's how I, I'm adjusting. I know that I could do this. But more than one I sh not gonna have it for me okay so this we need a multivitamin and this is the women's multivitamin there's has vitamins a b b1 b2 b6 b12 vitamin c d and e then it has a kai in there that uh, smooths you out a biotin cranberry we need that cranberry and folic acid okay so this is what it has this is what it looks like and I'm gonna be using this literally daily, taking this daily, okay? And then these are all of the vitamins and stuff that they have in there right now. Um, but yeah, y'all, this is really it. This is really it. This is really all I ended up getting. And um, I did get a few things for my workout stuff, but it's it's not even considered hygiene stuff so I'm like let me not show that to them because that's just crazy like that's just extra but if you guys got all the way to the end of this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you hit that subscribe button press the bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you in my next video bye